Hey, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful day here in the Philippines. I'm gonna be cooking some chicken in the slow cooker. Take a look outside my window. Just a beautiful day, beautiful weather. Let me just give you a gander here. I mean, how can you not? How can you not love that weather? Here's a look outside my window, looking over at the beach. I want you to check out these mangoes. The mangoes all over this mango tree here. Look at those mangoes. Then if you look over there, you got coconuts all over that tree. How can you not love that? Look out your window. Some mangoes in the tree. Coconuts. And the mangoes are going to start dropping off on this thing. They'll make a boom when you hit the tin roof and you try to catch them before they roll down. This is my, my new rice cooker. No, I've already screwed that up. That ain't a rice cooker. That's my new slow cooker. My crock pot. I think this is the five liter. It's pretty big. You don't realize how big it is, but man, that thing right there, it's perfect for when I need to make big uh, portions of soup. I think it was 1,600 pesos over at the SM store in uh, Alangapo, the old SM. So what is that? That's 20... 32 bucks roughly 32 bucks for this mac daddy it's got a high low and an auto setting i'm gonna throw some chicken in here the you know, ladies last night chopped up some vegetables so what do we got corn sweet potatoes potatoes carrots they better put some onions in there too but that's what i'm gonna make get this thing going so we got some nice dinner tonight up in the crock pot Let's see if I can get a, get a tune out of this trombone. Now, last night I asked the ladies to chop this chicken up. They chopped some vegetables but just left this chicken in the in the ref. Damn, that, that thing's about as sharp as a, that's about a, about a butter cutter right there. I gotta go find the Bear Grylls fake knife. Where you at, Bear Grylls? Oh, Bear Grylls is missing in action. Let's go with this dude right here. Oh yeah, it's got a little sharpness to it. So folks, if you don't go to culinary school, you don't know how to cut a chicken out of a plastic bag. So I'm demonstrating. That is a valuable skill right there. With three cuts, I have cut this chicken out of the bag. All right, wash this bird off. He's a little bit thawed out. We'll wash him out. I don't know if I'm gonna stuff his ass with some vegetables in a minute. I don't know if they cut the onions up or not. To be honest with you, I would stuff them with some onions. I reckon. They just put that whole chicken in there. There ain't no need to cut that dude up. Just wash him out. Put some uh, pepper rub on his ass. And let him roll. That's what I do. I rub him down with that pepper. With the lemon pepper. I mean, you cannot go wrong with lemon pepper. I promise you. Got some onions. I don't think it matters too much. It's all going in the same pot. But I will shove a couple onions into the chicken just for good measure look at there there's one bloop there's two bloop three bloops going in that chicken's ass three onions shit i think we got room for one more i do think we got room for a little bit more i just put a couple more onions in there this ain't rocket science folks you know just uh what is cooking, right? Cooking is putting the meat on the heat, or putting the heat to the meat. What do you What do you prefer? You know, meat, vegetables, spices, heat. That's it. Any rocket science. So I'm stuffing this chicken's ass 
full of onions. Get a couple more up there. Boom, panesse, look at that. All right, pretty simple, all right? So far, we are cooking with grease. And if you're following along at home, uh, it should be pretty easy for you. You know, step one, get a chick. Step two, cut the bag off. Step three, wash the chicken. And step four, shove some onions in the chicken's asshole. Pretty, pretty straightforward, I think. I'm going to come in here with the lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. And I'm just going to pat it, spank it, and rub it down. That was off a movie, and I don't even remember what movie that was. Oh, yeah. Rub that chicken. A little bit more. No, maybe we can flip it over. No, we do need a little bit more. A little bit. Just a spoonful more. You can't go wrong with uh, lemon pepper on a chicken. Just rub that in. Oh yeah. That bad boy is ready to go. Mm. All right, I don't think you're gonna be, well, let me see if I can turn this, because I got chicken on my hands, and I'm a one man show here. Oh shit, yeah. So I'm gonna take that chicken, Put that chicken down in the crock pot. Ain't no problem with that chicken. A little bit more of that rub on there. And folks, just got a little water. Get it, get it going. I went ahead and threw a couple cups of water in there just to. Uh, you know, to get it going. And what we're working with, these are sweet potatoes here. So I'll put the sweet potatoes on top of the chicken. They all go in the same place, so it don't really matter. But look at there, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots. Look at there. That's beautiful. Yeah, should have been an artist. Should have been an artist like Pablo Picasso. I might do that. I might paint some uh, paintings for you guys. I do have a little bit of artistic skill. I may do some paintings out on the beach. I need to get me a canvas and some some paints. All right, but that's what we're working with. And then when I already put two two glasses of water in there. This will make three, three glasses of water. See, most people use cups, but when you're cooking, it's more fun to use wine glasses, right? Or sometimes they use a Yeti cup. Instead of three cups of water, how about four wine glasses of water? And I think I'm gonna go with that. I think that'll, that'll cook down. That's enough water above the, said chicken and that's what we're going to work with right now and folks i'm going to add two two of these nor chicken cubes i'll probably add one later on i probably add two more and i was going to add this shrimp you know what whatever i i grab i tried to put three in there but one was a shrimp the ladies love shrimp so Two chicken cube cubes and one shrimp, but I meant to put nothing but chicken, but I'd already opened it, so I'm not gonna waste that shrimp cube. So in the pot that dude goes. All right, throw the lid on that bad boy. Now I'm, I'm putting it on high, cause I'm gonna be around. Well in this cooker, if you put it on auto, it starts out cooking in high and then it switches to low. I don't remember exactly what the time hack was, but I'm putting this thing on high and then when I leave when I leave the condo and go to the beach, I'll flip it over to low. So we got some delicious dinner coming up for tonight, my friends. Boom, partners. All right, folks, let me show you this awesome feature. This is the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. 
Made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, my friends. Let me show you why I love to use this to make eggs, right? Now it's got this handle over here, right? What I do, sometimes I just throw them straight in there. But if I'm going to mix up the eggs, I just slide a little bowl under there, right? And this thing right here works perfect. Now, I'm going to kind of be in the way here, but you crack that right there, boom. Well, you don't drop the egg in there, the egg shell in there, but look at that. It don't, it just cracks that egg perfectly and drops it in there. And I never end up getting any shells into my uh, my mix. But it's just like I got a, got a built-in egg cracker. I don't know if that's by design from the engineers. But just you got to crack it just like right there. I don't know if my arm's in the way. I think my arm's in the way. Okay, let's see if I can get my arm, arm out of the way. Can I get the right angle on the dangle? Maybe I'll do it from this side. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. And the way it cracks that egg, you just don't put little pieces of egg all in my egg. Not that cracking an egg is rocket science. But sometimes, you know, I got bad luck. So uh, if I crack it on any other surface, I end up getting eggshell in there. But if I crack it on the lodge, it just breaks it up perfect. Just thought I'd share that with you. Don't forget the tip for the boys. That's it. <laughs> All right, folks. So we got another ride today. We got Eric Mercy. We got uh, Janice. And what's your girl's name? Janelle, right? And Janelle are going to take a ride on the white torpedo. All right. So let me. They're over there getting their life jackets on. They got to sign releases and all that good stuff. Let me show you the white torpedo. Okay. Folks, got a little photo shoot going on. Got a little too. photo shoot going down. Yeah, yeah. I'm just getting a little block of instruction on how to do the block of instruction on the GoPro here. There. You push the button up on top when you're ready. Okay? Alright folks, loading up on the white torpedo. It looks like about a six seater, about a seven seater, somewhere in there. day up in the crock pot oh my goodness look at that soup right there we're gonna be eating good tonight with that chicken soup my goodness all right folks thanks for joining us on today's video just lifestyle here at the beach you know if you're not a subscriber on our channel hit that overstay road sign right there get on board my train get food beer visas bad behavior Beautiful women and my award winning cooking skills. Just saw that chicken soup. Thanks everybody for joining us. Thanks for being a subscriber. We'll see you guys on the next one. See you tomorrow. Peace out.